week 17 of the fantasy basketball season. And right here is week one of most playoffs in your fantasy leagues here. So here's a few forwards that you should pick up this week. And they'll help you in the playoffs, obviously, and hopefully get to the next round. The first guy is Darius Baisley of the OKC Thunder. So Baisley, he's been getting more playing time once again as late. Is obviously this Thunder team, they're not going to make the NBA playoffs this season. They're a rebuilding team. And we'll just see what Baisley and the boys could do here. And on the season, he's ranked 242 on the season's Baisley. 12.5 points a game, 7.4 rebounds, 1.5 assists, 1.5 threes a game, 70% from the foul line, and 40% from the field with the last couple weeks now. Baisley, he's been scoring at a great pace, 16.2 points a game, 6.5 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 1.6 threes a game, 70% from the foul line, and 45% from the field for Baisley. So Baisley, he's playing about 35 minutes a game of late for this OKC Thunder team. And like I mentioned, this team's rebuilding. They're playing all the young guys' major minutes with them definitely out of the playoff race this season. And with all those draft picks coming up in the next few years, for this Thunder team. And April 14th versus the Warriors, 22 points, 8 rebounds, and an assist. April 19th at Detroit, 19 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. And April 18th yesterday, 16 points, 8 rebounds, and assist a block in 3 3. So basically, he's helping fantasy owners in about 4 or 5 categories right now. And this is what you want to see from an up and coming player here, especially for the Thunder. They're going to put him out there. And see what him and these guys like Dort and Moses Brown have to offer their basketball team. And see if they're part of the future in the next couple seasons. So Baisley, he's scoring well. And he's a player that definitely can help fantasy teams right now. And he's owned in 45% of fantasy leagues. And obviously available in 55%. So I will go out there and get him before it's too late. The next forward's date, JC and Tate of the Houston Rockets. And the Rockets, another team... In the same situation here is the Thunder, where in the last season they've blown everything up now. Trading Russell Westbrook, trading Robert Covington, and then obviously trading James Harden and getting all with Depot and draft picks in that deal, and then flipping all with Depot at the deadline. So JCM Tate, he's been a mainstay this season, is the rookie here for Houston. And he was one of the guys James Harden punched in practice here on the season. He's ranked 94th. In fantasy basketball, 11.1 points a game, 5.5 rebounds, 2.2 assists a game, 1.2 steals, 73% from the foul line, and 52% from the field here is Tate. So Tate, the good thing about him, he qualifies as shooting guard, powered forward, and small forward in fantasy. And the last couple weeks here for Tate, 13.5 points a game, 5.8 rebounds, 3.6 assists, 1.8 threes a game, 73% from the foul line, and 55% from the field. So he's getting major minutes, 30, 35 minutes a game here for this Houston Rocket team. And they got nothing to lose right now. This team, they've lost so many games this season. They finally got a win in yesterday's game. But Tate right now, he looks like a promising rookie for this team. And it's something they could build off of in the last couple games for Tate. April 14th versus the Pacers, 11 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals. April 16th versus Denver, 21 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and a 3. And then last night in Orlando, 14 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, a steal, and 3 blocks. So right now, Tate, he's getting you the points. He's getting good rebounds, and his assist numbers and steals are pretty good. So right now, he's a 5 or 6 category type of player here in fantasy, and that's what you want to see. But right now, his percentage, he's owned in a lot of leagues at 63%. And it's just going up from there. He's gone up 4% overnight as Tate here from Sunday into Monday here. And he's only available, like I mentioned, in 37% of leagues. The next play is Najee Marshall of the New Orleans Pelicans. So the Pelicans here, they've been a weird ball club this season here. A lot of different moving parts, a lot of different players. And now Najee Marshall's one of the next guys here that's been getting good playing time. For this team and obviously the injuries haven't helped this season with Lonzo Ball in and out of the lineup we've seen Josh Hart hurt Alexander Walker he's been banged up as well of late so Najee Walker he's getting an opportunity and he's played pretty well so far in the season he's ranked 303 in fantasy basketball five and a half points a game 3.3 rebounds 2.2 assists 76 percent 
from the foul line and 36% from the field. But Marshall, since he's got more playing time the last few weeks, 8.8 .8 points a game, 5.6 rebounds, 3.8 assists, 1-3 a game, 77% from the foul line, but only 37% from the field. And right now he's playing about 25 to 33 minute range here for this New Orleans Pelican team that most likely won't make the playoffs or even the playing game this season here. So they're giving guys opportunities like Marshall, and we'll see what he could do. And right now, pretty productive in more playing time that he's got over the last few weeks. April 14th versus the Knicks, 14 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 threes. April 16th at Washington, 16 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, 2 threes. And then last night at the Knicks, 9 points. Two rebounds, three assists, a steal, and a three. So Marshall, another guy given fantasy owners four or five categories. He's a pretty decent scorer, pretty good rebounder. He can get assists. He'll get a few steals here and there. And he's hitting the three ball as well. And he's available in a whopping 91% of fantasy leagues. And he's a player, if you got room on your roster and you're in a deep league, he's definitely worth an ad. Maybe, maybe 10 team leagues and 12 team leagues he might not be worth the ad but he's definitely a guy on the list this week the next play is Trevor Ariza of the Miami Heat so Trevor Ariza he sat out most of the season this year until they found the trade partner for him was the Thunder and he landed here with the Miami Heat and Ariza on the season ranked 174 8.7 points a game 4.2 rebounds 1.6 assists 1.6 threes a game 80 percent from the foul line is a reason and 39% from the field in the last few weeks since he's finally got to play here for this Heat team. He's been a good veteran and a good player. 10.7 points a game, 4.3 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 threes a game, 91% from the foul line and 45% from the field. So Ariza right now playing heavy minutes, 25 to 35 range. And this guy, he always finds his way on a playoff team or a contender each and every season. I know he's bounced around the league, but a reason, there's been a reason he's been in the NBA since 2004 here because he just has a knack for winning. He's a good glue guy, and he teaches hustle and defense to his teammates, and it definitely wears off in a positive way for them. So April 14th at Denver, 13 points, a rebound, two assists, a steal, and three threes. April 16th at Minnesota, 21 points, Seven rebounds, three assists, a steal, two blocks, and five threes. And then last night versus the Brooklyn Nets in a huge victory. 15 points, nine rebounds, three three-pointers, and an assist. At Trevor Ariza, he's scoring the basketball well. You know he's a glue guy. He's going to hit some threes. A three and D guy still at this age. He's going to steal. He's going to get rebounds. He's going to get some assists. And he's definitely worth an ad this week at the forward position. And he's available in 85% of leagues. And the fifth and final forward I've looked at on waves this week is a hot commodity out of nowhere. Paul Watson of the Toronto Raptors. So Watson, he finally got some playing time here. And this is a guy that's bounced around in the G League and stuff. But Watson on the season, 363. He's ranked in fantasy basketball, 4.1 points a game, 1.7 rebounds. 1.1 threes a game, 62% from the foul line, and 46% from the field. The last couple weeks, though, his rankings 140 in this time. 13 points a game, 3.3 rebounds, 2 assists, 3.3 threes a game, 75% from the foul line, and 48% from the field. So Watson, he finally got an opportunity to shine in April 16th versus the Orlando Magic. And that was his coming out party. This guy, he didn't play pretty much the whole season. April 14th versus San Antonio, 9 points, 2 rebounds, 2 threes. April 16th at Orlando, 30 points, 4 rebounds, an assist, a steal, a block, and 8 three-pointers. And last night versus the Thunder, I know it was a horrible ball game. 4, point, four rebounds, 5 assists, and no points scored, 0 for 10 from the field. But I think Watson, it was a down game. And this guy, he should be owned in more fantasy leagues. The Raptors are giving him opportunities. And obviously, we've seen some potential from him already in that ball game versus Orlando. And he's available in 95% of fantasy leagues. So that's a few forwards. I would look to add on the waiver wire here in week 17 of the fantasy basketball season.